Well, we are back. Another episode of uh, Path of Destro. So, if memory serves, uh, last time we uh, took out the uh, Solitude peoples. Um, I believe that's all I actually remember from last time. So uh, we're gonna be picking up and uh, working on just some of the random quests that I've got going on because there's a lot of them. All right, so first. Head down to Helgen. Head to Whiterun first. Then we'll head to Helgen. Yes. Hmm. Mm, How don't do you like feel? those eyes you got. I There's think a you bad might be hunger sick. to them. Do you? Did you? So Ulag didn't make it past those giants then. More's the pity. If you found any of the sap, I'd be willing to pay you the same cut I offered him. Better price than you are likely to find otherwise. Yeah, 
These Khajiit make a living traveling the roads and selling their wares. It's got to be tough. Skyrim's a hard enough land when you've got a roof over your head. Worst thing is, nobody wants them in the cities. Nobody trusts them. Reputation mostly. A lot of Khajiit turn to smuggling and thievery to get by. A few bad apples spoil the bunch. You know how it is. Hmm. How the tree came to grow there is a bit of a mystery. Some say that when Vardenfell erupted, a piece was blown to the middle of Skyrim and from the crater grew the tree. I've also heard that it was a spore that fell from an island floating in the sky, but that just sounds like nonsense. All I know is that the sap makes you feel as healthy as a cave troll, but slow as a drunk horker, and that it fetches good coin. Farewell. Yeah. Be careful. All right, this should be interesting.
Does someone live among the dead? <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so first thing. Vicious zombies. Well, that's not exactly encouraging. up what should we do south of dawn star Need to visit the museum there anyway. Alright. Looks like we're going to Dawnstar.
All right, let's go see this museum. Ancestors wouldn't want this, Silas. Why should I hide from it? This is my family's legacy. It's the past. Dead oaths on dead lips. Let it stay there. The museum is opening, Medina. I beg you, don't go into Silas's museum. Silas comes from one of the oldest families in Dawnstar. They have a complicated history. Several of his ancestors belong to the Mythic Dawn, the cult that almost destroyed Tamriel. His family's involvement was only found out well after the crisis had died down, but it still ruined their reputation. They were outcasts. And now Silas is back, and this museum to the Mythic Dawn is his way of trying to rebuild his family's pride. It's misguided. That museum is a mistake. And here comes my first visitor. The Museum of the Mythic Dawn is open, friend. And here you are. Good. Come in. Browse the display and let's talk. I have a job you look perfect for. Let's talk inside. Feel free to look around. Come talk to me when you're ready to discuss that job I mentioned. The tapestries hung here and outside were found in hideouts, where members of the Mythic Dawn would meet and plot. The cult's greatest accomplishment was the assassination of the Septim Dynasty and the opening of the... Vivian Gates. Did you have any questions? A little history first. After the Oblivion Crisis, a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the Mythic Dawn. <clears throat> One of these groups found Merun's Razor, the artifact of Dagon. They split it into three fragments and pledged to keep them apart forever. That was almost 150 years ago, and the pieces are still being kept by the descendants of that group. And they're right here, in Skyrim. <coughs> At least two of the owners, <coughs> Gonzal and Draskua, are dangerous marauders. And the third owner, Jorgen, I well, only know he lives in Morthal. Marauder should be killed here are my anyway. notes about them. I'll <coughs> gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. No questions asked. Good luck finding the fragments. <coughs> so, uh, does this guy seem like a uh, daydream cultist to any of you? Because, um. Little bit. Little bit to me. Alright. What to next? Where to next? Right. Okay. We ride. Does Skyrim ever get warm, husband? No, not really.
generally a bad idea to mess with giants if you don't have to. Okay. That house over there, I wonder. Oh, geez. Oh, I know this place. This is the Hall of the Vigilant, yeah. Okay. Just on the north end of here. Circle around. We're close at least. In we go. I hope it's full of strong people with lots of nice juicy loot. But Isa? She's smarter than that. Brigitte was always dragging her into things. But stealing the box of sword? Did he have to <laughs> It and go. <laughs> it don't sound like much fun, though. What are you doing? Too easy. Interesting. Nobody goes in or out until he gets back. Oh, oh, skin need me some skooma. It's a bad time to get lost, friend. Ah! Go ahead. Stop! Oh! Why are they just standing there like that? Uh, it doesn't make any sense. Went down there? Today? Yeah, he's after Rajir. Never seen him so angry. Bad feeling about this. Some things just felt wrong. Been down there lately. Eerie. Now you're sounding as crazy as the cat. 
be going on about the pale lady next. to see here. What am I doing? <laughs> Whatever I want. Fools. Should have known she was mine. Something's wrong. Boss been down there too long. Yeah. Well, let's wait a little longer, then. Attacking me though. I, mean, I know they didn't see me, but she should have seen me when I killed the guy. I mean, you would think. Oh, I see. This is like way too easy. <laughs> Ambushed me. He's trying to take the sword back. Uh, I can't. <laughs> what the hell? Hmm. 
No! No! Isis, does some reason seal among No! Pathetic mortal! Seemed way too easy. Hmm. Time to end your s I see. Huh, all right. Let's give it a go. Mortal fool! No one hides from the dead! He's dead. Easy peasy. I guess they don't mind me being in here. Guess I didn't need to kill all of them then. Oh well. take a nap but oh well onward Two next.
Let's hope they don't hold grudges. Did kind of take over their city. Being old's not so bad. Daughter keeps me fed, and my working days are done. <clears throat> you don't look so good. Not in your life. It's dangerous in there, and Falk doesn't even like me and Erdy going in every year to clean out the spiders. If you really want to, just be careful of the ghost. He snuck up on me once and scared me sick. It took a week for me to feel better. You can catch me at the Blue Palace later. If you want to talk again. A ghost, huh? Speak, Elf. This should be interesting. Welcome to the Winking Skeever. Take a load off and enjoy the atmosphere. I've only been a part of the Red Wave's crew for a few weeks. Welcome to the Winking Skeever. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Let's sate that appetite, hmm? I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Hello, I'm Gizli. But you can just call me Erica's sister. Everyone I does. once captained a ship called the Argent Raptor. She struck an iceberg and went down just north of Windhelm. <laughs> yes? Let me know if there's anything else you need. How'd they know I did that? What the hell? Can't pursue me here. <laughs> what now, guards? What now? Really? Ah, uh, dude, that's so dirty. Face the music. Welcome. Let me 
know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Need something? Thought the guards were pursuing me. Where are they? Come along now, guards. I don't have all day. There's no guards pursuing me. Don't know why it won't let me sleep. Come on in, just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. You shut the fuck up. I'm just trying to like go to bed. Yep. No, stop. That's annoying. Are you feeling all right, dear? You look a little ill. Goodness, this crowd. Feel free to make requests. Need some? trying to get out the door. I wish only to graduate and enroll with the Legion. My drums will lead our troops to victory. There's nothing like a good song to lift the spirit in troubled times. Their skin's as pale as the snow. Songs. You scared of sunlight or something? It's an honor to have Viarmo for instruct. The armor is too concerned with precision, what of instinct. Hmm? Need something. Welcome to the center of the world, or at least my brother Eric. Please take pity on an old madman.
You're disgusting. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Teach them to stop paying me. Here, you... You know what? I like you. I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in Falkreath Hold. Talk to my steward if you're interested. There Just are go so away. many delightful ways I've pictured you <clears throat> dead. is dark here. Interesting place. Sure's Din. Oi. Whoa, hello. Yeah! Marty! Pelly, my dear. Oh, I couldn't. Um, it goes right through me. Besides, I have so many things to do. So many undesirables to contend with. Naysayers. Is she a Gorath? Buffoons, detractors. Why, my. My headsman hasn't slept uh, in three this days. This is gonna be bad. You are far too hard on yourself, my dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance, sing, smile, <laughs> grow old. You are the best septum that's ever ruled. Well, except for that Martin fella. But he turned into a dragon god, and that's hardly sporting. You know. I was there for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous time! Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, ho ho ho, and the cheese! To die for. Yep, she agrees. Yes, yes, as you've said countless like times cheese. before. Harumph! Well then, if you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best I take my leave. A good day to you, sir. I said good day! Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. Um... How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. Really? Ooh, ooh, what kind of message? A song! A summons! Wait, uh, I know! A death threat, written on the back of an Argonian concubine! Ah, those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal! I haven't got an eternity. Actually, you I are do. A little, little nuts. But seriously, what's the message? Were you now? By whom? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Molag? No, no. Little Tim. The toy maker's son, huh? Huh? The ghost of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, what was it one? Yes! Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm wrong on all accounts, aren't I? Ha! <laughs> no matter. Honestly, I don't want to know. <laughs> Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point. <laughs> the tiny, puny, expendable little mortal. Actually think you can convince me to leave. Because that's crazy! You do realize who you're dealing with here. Jolly good guess. But only half right. I'm a mad god. The mad god, actually. 
It's a family title. Gets passed down from me to myself every few thousand years. Now you, you can call me Anne-Marie. But only if you're partial to being flayed alive and having an angry immortal skip rope with your entrails. If not, then call me Sheagorath, Daedric Prince of Madness. Charmed. And Marie it is then. Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right, I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Uh, God damn it. Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Makes things infinitely more interesting. Dare to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Have you any idea where you are? Where you truly are? Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius III. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> now, uh, I know what great. you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure. Sure. Or you could use... The Wabachak! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? <sighs> Great. All right, well... I guess we're going this way first. Oh, good choice! Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. <laughs> you might find it less so. You see, Pelagius's mother was, well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned at a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. The objective here is simple, you simpleton. Use your wabajak to defeat the enemy while they do the same. Creature doesn't appear to be faring any better than before. We think train is off.
don't get what I'm doing here. Wait a second. it out with the threat gone Pelagius is under the delusion that he's safe which means you've helped him out sort of and we're that much closer to home huh so that was it lucky me I guess this is a fairly good guess okay Guess we're going this way next. Ah! Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead, pumpernickel. This is the end for but you. But the deepest, keenest hatred yeah. was for himself. Never come the toxin picks on itself. Can be seen here Someone fully. Time They're always carried day. out. On the weakest part of his damn you! The self-loathing enhances Pelagius's anger. You're worse. Ah, but I'll gut his you like a will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. Wonderfully done. Pelagius is finally ready to love himself and continue hating everyone else. Here we go. Oh. All right, well, that was way easier than the last one. You have headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. Oh, All you need to do did. is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. something to crow about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in Yay. no time. Okay, now what? This is bound to be just as irritating as the previous ones. I have a say. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations. You're free to go. I have been known to change my mind. So, go, really. Pelagius Septum the Third, once the mad emperor of Tamriel, now so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Go oh, where? Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. The trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage. Now, where did I leave my luggage? Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Eh, 
Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you, a little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Wabajack as a symbol of my... Oh, just so that was his me. luggage, huh? You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart! Ha <laughs> ha! Ta-ta! Here. Okay, I was gonna say you're gonna send me back, right? The Imperials are good for business, and business is good for Skyrim. Are you feeling all... a little ill. Need something? Speak, Elf. Oh. Take a seat and get the cold out. Hmm. <coughs> oh, I think that's where I'm going to stop it for the day.